That's better. I think that'll do fine. Thank you. I'm stalling for time because I don't know what I'm going to do. There's a thread hanging down from somewhere. There may be somebody in the audience who hasn't heard this one. And I do it because Tony Bennett told me I must do this song every time I perform. And I don't do it every night, but I do it twice a week here at least. So those of you who know it, sing along. It's in D minor. It's F E D F E A D F. That'd be a good idea to do this. I'm going to do it. One of those vocal things where you you do a quartet with yourself or a trio with yourself or a Take my cedarboard to plane, and what is this I see? Leonard Bernstein comes aboard and sits right next to me. First class New York to LA, some things just work out right. I'll be sitting next to Leonard Bernstein this Maybe I should just act like I do not recognize him. Be real cool and do my best not to antagonize him. Now we're rolling down the runway. Next stop is L.A. I'm nonchalant like I ride next to Lenny every day. Naturally, I turn to him against my own advice. Introduce myself and find that Lenny's very nice. Soon we start to chat and drink and talk about our lives. We talk about our children and our wives. But what a lovely fellow. What a lucky day. Me and Lenny side by side. New York to L.A. Soon we're sitting, drinking, talking, chatting like the very best of pals. Soon we're sitting, drinking, talking like the very best of pals. Talking music, life, and art, death and root canals. Now he's interrupting me, but really that's okay. Because he's a lovely fellow, and he's got a lot to say. I recite some songs I wrote, he recites them back. For poetry and music, he seems to have a knack. He tells me that his new show closed and now he's feeling beat and he's not used to dealing with defeat. But what a lovely fellow, what a lucky day. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Me and then he's side by side, New York to L.A. Crossword, ten minutes and he's through. Does the puzzle with his pen? I do not have a clue. What an intellectual, but a warm and friendly guy. We talk about the world below as we sail through the sky. Finally, I feel the airplane starting to descend. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And I know this lovely day is coming to an end. Put a trace and seat backs up just like you're supposed to do. Land had been my friend, a fond adieu. But what a lovely fellow, what a lucky day. Me and Lenny side by side, New York to LA. Well, I'm wrong. What a lovely fellow, though, really, I must say, I've not heard from Lenny since I left him in LA. since I left him in L.A., in L.A., in L.A., in L.A. 
ready for the applause to die down. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Here's part of my bridge jumping uh, medley. Let me see. I wrote a song about on salamander pie. I think I'm trying to think. Is, is it in the my computer? My computer, but I'll just go down off the bridge. I think I may jump. My life ain't going like it should. I'll throw myself off oh, into the freezing water and end this mess for good. Good, good. good. What's the matter with me? One bridge I see. says his whole life passed before his eyes in an instant in a flash that was when it dawned on him perhaps he jumped too quickly perhaps he'd been a little rash as he fell he realized that for every problem in his life solutions did exist this occurred to him in the three seconds it took him to fell and disappear into the mist. Thank you. 
realize that for every problem in his life, solutions did exist. All of this occurred to him in the three seconds it took him to fall. Disappear, disappear into the mist. Do, 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 do. Somebody's been playing the piano. The piano bench reached out and grabbed my bass. Why well, can't have that? Hey Cliff Morris, how are you Cliffy? Hope everything is well with you. Can you play on Slurba? Can you play on Slurba? Bill does it all the time. Slurba. Sure I can play on Slurba. I can also play on Glunga and Bruda. But Slurba is introduced as Lenny when you shook hands. Not well when I met him. Joe Fitzgerald is white. No, no, no. What, uh, on the plane. Oh, yeah, on the plane. Um, it was just, man, I was just having a good time. I think he was not feeling well, though. I think he was starting to feel the, uh, the ravages of what finally got him. And, you know, I think he wasn't feeling well. He looked exhausted. But he was very sweet. A lot of song. Larry. Bill Crow says Larry. Peacock got to start with Felder. Really? Sochi on the Black Sea. Da 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 Sochi on the Black Sea. Uh uh. Helmer Hunt. A lot of songs. Yes. And, and a ton that never got written. A ton of lyrics. And, oh, my little stand is slightly. <laughs> That's slightly out of balance tonight. It wants to fall over. Uh, he didn't introduce himself at all. I knew who he was. I don't think he ever met, introduced himself. He doesn't. Have, Leonard Bernstein never had to introduce himself, as far as I can tell. Sluva, Sluva is Norwegian for sloppy. Thank you, Helmer. Can you play on Sluva? Sloppy. Bill does it all the time. I certainly can. Larry Hart, Howard, yeah, Lorenz, Larry, right. I got Lorenz right, I, the Larry part, you know, I, I didn't know him that well, I, I couldn't call him Larry. So how are we doing? Now here's a good book. Joseph Stiglitz, Bruce, Creating a Learning Society. You can take any page and it's like going into the Bible. It's just phenomenal what, what this what Joseph Stiglitz writes. And I don't think that Donald Trump has read most most of Joseph Stiglitz. I, I think he probably didn't read it all. You know, people actually work at this stuff. They actually stop and think about it. I know, I know, I know. But they, they spend time, lots of time, thinking and ordering and and some don't. I'm more than pissed these days. It's starting to bubble over in complete uh, disgust. Other than that, though, I'm fine. Um, let's see if I can find something that matches my mood right now. I don't remember the words of that. Yes. Here's a pretty little ditty that I wrote when I remembered how totally bad I felt as a 22-year-old or a 23-year-old. I was, the world just seemed impossible to me. I was in New York. I was drinking too much. I was playing gigs. I didn't like the group I was playing with. Uh, I 
wasn't happy. I was lonely. I was lonely. I didn't have any girlfriends. I really, I, didn't, I don't know why. I didn't, didn't, it didn't work out too well the first time. I came back, I went to Baltimore when I was 23, came back, and I was a different person. Actually, I, the, the song, I gotta write that song about <clears throat> going to see Eight and a Half. Because when I went to see Eight and a Half when I was about 23, my life changed. I walked into that picture, and it just, when I walked out, I was no longer depressed. And I, it just cured everything. And I knew it, that I had found the key to something. That something had opened up the key to me. I, I'm going to write that song. I'm going to start working on that song. Because it's too important to my uh, existence. But this song was written before it. Sometimes I think I got nothing in common with the rest of the human race. I'm completely out of place, like a visitor from outer space. Sometimes I think it's all a big game that everybody plays but me. It's a big conspiracy, everybody in free but me. I don't know the rules, Lord, they don't tell the rules to fools. So I do the best I can, Lord, I do the best I can. Maybe some sweet day now, things will go my way now. I guess I'll have to wait till then, Lord, I guess I'll have to wait till then. Sometimes a reason for putting up with it now, it ain't so clear to me. Shield burning and my soul pick up the scars. Come down on the moon, living in anticipation of returning to my interstellar station. Sometimes I think I got nothing in common with the rest of the human race. Bumpy, 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 bumpy,
I'm glad I taped it. I'm glad it's written. I'm glad it's recorded. I uh, have started using my iPad to record with because it's easier and it's simpler and it's easier to download back to my computer and put up on YouTube. You know, all these shows are on YouTube, so if you did, just didn't get enough. But unfortunately, the comments are not, and that's a drag. But um, the show is. So if you just get uh, worn out and can't, just, <laughs> you have to have some more. They're all, I just about 100, well, almost every show. I've missed a couple, but they're all there. And now I'm going to do what I said, and I'm going to play us out with Chuck DeMonico. Oops, got to go back to the beginning. I'm not going to, I'm, the, iTunes is now spinning little circle and saying, we're not ready for you to do this yet. You didn't cue us up. Now I heard your new version. Here we go. People ask me who's the greatest bass player in jazz. So I tell them that it's got to be Ray Brown or George, George Brown. Of course, there's Joe Mandragon, Curly Russell, Sam Jones, and Michael Moore. Heath and Leroy Vinegar, Jimmy Wood and Buddy Clark, Wellman Brown, Gary Peacock, Major Holly for a lark, oh, Buster Williams and Ron Carter, ain't they some hair? Israel Crosby, Bob Cranshaw, and Wilbur Way, Shaco Pastorius, Slam Stewart. Bless their souls. Bobby Hanger, Steve Swallow, and Victor Sprouse. Eddie Gomez, Charlie Mingus, the lineman of the mix. Paul Chambers, Don Thompson, and don't forget Jack Six. Red Mitchell, Victor Gaskin, played right through the night. See you tomorrow. I think we're going to be in hope tomorrow. Look out now. Thunderstorms and all. <laughs>